Hi. So this video is about what to do if you are being injured during breastfeeding because your baby is scratching you. Um, now taking a look at scratching, if your baby is pulling at your skin and you're being scratched as a result of that, I've got another video on that so hang tight, but injuries related directly to fingernails dragging on your skin, here's how to resolve that. Um, obviously baby has no control over the length of their fingernails. They grow, but they can't cut them. So it's a parent's responsibility to keep those nails short. And so if it really just comes down to you are not having a lot of success keeping your kids nails short, maybe they grow super fast. Maybe they grow in a pattern that they become very jagged very easily. Maybe it's just that your kid wiggles around so much that your current tactic is not working um, or you're afraid of hurting your fingers. So here are a few things to help you out. Um, couple of different techniques if you get little baby uh, nail clippers they're smaller which means it's harder for their finger to end up in there you're more likely to just get the nail and not their skin and while that doesn't guarantee that you will never have a nail clipping injury um, if you get the little small ones it does help but you can still use adult size ones the main idea is that if you push underneath the nail so actually come at the nail from the underside rather than from the top you're much more likely to find where the skin starts and to be able to nip the nail there um, without catching any of the skin. You might be doing this while your child is asleep. You might be doing it with their hand held firmly um, or just when they're more relaxed so that they're not wiggling around as much. <clears throat> but nail clippers do the job. You can also file your baby's nails. So if you get a soft emery board, just go to your local cosme uh, cosmetic store and get a nail file that has the softest surface possible. It's usually the finishing uh, polish. Um, if you get one of those, then it's super soft and then even if it rubs up against baby's skin while you're filing their nails, it doesn't cause abrasions and so you can file the nail and without taking any skin off to go along with it. So you can file their nails down. Uh, I've talked to parents some who uh, felt more comfortable chewing their baby's nails off so they would just sort of use their own teeth and just na 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 and chew their baby's fingernails off. Other ones would just sort of get the corner and if their baby's fingernails were really soft and then, then they were actually just able to peel the rest of it off and their baby's nails were soft enough that it peeled off the correct portion and didn't actually start peeling down the finger causing any kind of opening or injury uh, that was open to infection. Uh, so based on your baby's fingernails, because fingernails are different, some baby's fingernails come in round, some come in square with these little pointy edges on the side, some are very firm or hard nails, some are very soft. Um, you have a couple of options for how you deal with that, but uh, yeah, as a general rule, breastfeeding a baby who has short fingernails is so much more comfortable than feeding a baby who has little tiger claws. So uh, short and sweet, I hope that was helpful for you. All the best.